is Robin with Can't Wait Smells Great and um, I've got a really good quick and easy recipe for you. I hope you're ready to join me. Okay this is something that I made the other night just a quick and simple meal with the chicken thighs that I had bought and I used the chicken thighs yesterday in the uh, easy uh, the keto cashew chicken. Uh, and their recipe called for skinless and boneless chicken thighs. I prefer bone in and skin on and stuff. So, you know, it's just what whatever you're used to doing. Let me wash some of this off real quick and I can open the ingredients I'm using. Like I said, I've got the chicken thighs and I'm only going to fix a few. So, you know, the, the way this recipe is, you can fix as many as you want to. Um, I've got some cream cheese. Uh, a little bit of sun-dried tomato and Cajun seasoning and then I'm gonna wrap it in bacon and we all know bacon makes everything better you know I haven't videoed in a long time doing the, the uh, cooking videos and I went back and looked at yesterday's with the um, cashew chicken and I was like man that's kind of like when I very first started I kind of um, <laughs> it didn't flow like it used to so y'all just give me time to get back in the swing of doing these and stick with me and you know even if I'm not doing my best y'all can still have a good recipe that you can do at home all right so I've cut up my cut open my uh, cream cheese and I'm just gonna put just a you know just a blob where I wrote where these are boneless and skinless they just kind of roll them up so I got a little spot perfect for putting in some stuffing. There we go. That's done. Alright. I'm going to put me some uh, sun-dried tomato. Just a, just a couple in each. Alright. There we go. Then I'm going to just roll it over and kind of smush down. That's closed. Number two is closed. And number three is closed. I know I sound goofy. <laughs> I'm hungry. I think my blood sugar dropped. So I, you know, if I'm sounding a little weird, it's probably because my, my blood sugar dropped on me just a little bit ago. I don't have a glucometer or a keto mojo or anything like that. I really do want to get me one so I can keep up with how I'm doing. I think I experienced my first whoosh yesterday. Um, I had a lot of water from where I was at the hospital with mama and stuff. And, um, you know, uh, when you start drinking your water and your sole water after you've gotten yourself dehydrated, um, you know, you start pouring out and having to run to the potty every little bit. <laughs> I think I was in there every five minutes yesterday, it felt like, and then up at night, too. I think uh, from yesterday to today, I lost five to six pounds, but it was all water, you know, because I hadn't took care of myself over the weekend. All right, so you see what I'm doing? I'm just taking a whole slice of, of bacon and wrapping it just like so. Alright, and I'm going to take some of the Cajun seasoning, sprinkle over this side. Alright, and then I'm going to lay it over here in my pan. And then I'm going to sprinkle a little more seasoning. And I've got my Cutting my oven on to 400. I should have already had it preheating. It's not preheated, so I'm going to wait a minute before I put them in. So, chicken. Uh, I've got uh, boneless, skinless chicken thighs, uh, cream cheese, sun dried tomato, Cajun seasoning, and then wrapped in bacon. And the chicken thighs, like I said, I still got a couple. Um, was seven dollars and 43 cents for all these and you know this is my third meal out of it and then I got two left so I need to go ahead and cook them before they go bad 
and um, that'll be a fourth meal. So, okie doke, I'll be back with y'all in just a little bit. Okay, it's done. Um, I cooked it on 400 degrees for about 40 minutes, 45 minutes. It just depends, you know, you want your uh, bacon to crisp up and you want to make sure your um, chicken gets done. Um, when I baked it, I had those two extra thighs, so I went ahead and put them on here and I'm going to make another recipe with those. Um, and then I had some extra bacon, so I just used the pan while it was going. All right, let's get me a little bite here. Gosh, cream cheese is just <laughs> running out. I don't know if I, my arm was in the way or not, but it just kind of come on out. Mm. That's really good. The other day I just did cream cheese and some feta cheese. And this, today I fixed with the cream cheese and a little bit of sun-dried tomatoes. They're really good. I love them. They're flavorful. And one or two strips is all it takes and you got good flavor. Hey, I hope y'all enjoy this quick and easy keto recipe. See y'all later.